hi guys welcome to the video number 294 and in this video i'm going to quickly crack out a couple of questions on if on if error and uh, of course on the find function the text functions uh, so if you if you are watching the channel for the first time then guys we have 294 videos on this and i have divided all those videos you know into the different different playlists you can see all these playlists here right so if you don't have any idea about the xla function please go ahead and click on this and you get to see six videos watch part one and the part two then come back to the video right and similarly we have one more uh, playlist which which you can see here excel text function when you click on this you got to actually first learn that what is the find function so maybe you can go ahead and watch this introduction to find and search function and then of course you can watch this demo for student exercise right then come back to this video if you are good if you know that if you have the idea about this then we are good to start right so they i have the you know these basically uh, the two questions though the questions are a lot but we are going to you know combine them so basically this is the first part as you can see here where we're going to use the f function and here we have something else right so let us go ahead and first of all uh, read this question so here we have if the value is greater than 20 we should see big value if the value is uh, let's say lesser than 10 uh, then we should see small value if the value is between 10 and 20 we should see a medium value right so now this is this exercise is entirely this is purely on the if functions right so if you have a good understanding of if and if or and the single if please go ahead and watch otherwise go back to the channel and watch first those videos because i have explained all the things there from the very scratch because i just want that whosoever is watching whosoever is following this channel my dear lovely people out there you should be awesome in excel you should be awesome in excel vba access and access vba all right so let's go ahead and start the formula so i'm gonna write here if the value is greater than 20 so i just have one condition so i'm gonna be very quick so i write here if the value is greater than 20 then what you want to do so i'm gonna write big value or all right and what if the value is not greater than 20 then i will further go ahead and write in the value false one more if so this is going to be a nested if guys right so i go ahead and check out this now if it is less than 10 then what i want to see then i want to see small value okay so i just write here small value now what if, if this is also not true then in the value if false which is bold right away we will write the if and because we have the two conditions i want to check between 10 and 20 so this is how you write if and and both the conditions if they are going to satisfy then we will write value medium otherwise nothing so i'm going to write here if you are greater than 10 and then if you are greater than less than sorry uh, 20 then what you want to do close the bracket close the bracket and then in the value of true which is this please put your eyes here on this formula bar it would be good because this is the question actually is kind of you know mixing it up so if the both the conditions are going to be satisfied i'm going to write here medium value medium value and what if, if this is also not going to hold true then no problem we don't have any other conditions so we're just going to write it as a blank right so this is how i'm going to close it i think i'm using three if so three brackets in the last right i just enter and there we go guys i'm going to drag it and let's see if we got the output now if you think that i'm very quick then guys please understand this is the excel test in the excel test nobody expects you to you know to be uh, a person who doesn't know the basics right you go and appear for the excel test for maybe it's through an igp or you're going you know for the interview in other company they expect you to be genius and you don't have really so much of time over there right so that is why i said this is going to be this is a video for those who really wants to learn who wants to have the mastery right who really wants to have the quick analysis and want to you know see that how the actually or the questions you know comes in the excel but yes you have to have the good understanding of the f function because i'm not going to explain you about the f we have already uploaded the videos on that go ahead and watch those videos so this is how guys we prepared a beautiful function using three f and out of those three f two was single f and the last one was the f and this is called the nested if right you might have heard this nested if means like you know you keep on using if and if so i said that if you're greater than 20 get this big value if not then then no problem you go to the false and then find the another if right we are stopping here so every if actually has its true and false for example this false belongs to this if if you come here this true belongs to this if and if you click your cursor here this value false which means false parameter this belongs to it, this if and similarly this medium value this parameter actually which is true this is for this if and the this space value for false which is bold now this belongs to this if so every if for every if you will have to provide true and false right so we can do the quickly uh, we can 
check here if, if i write here 100 we got the big value if i write here 10 we got nothing the reason is because 10 is not the condition you have not written anywhere that what if you want to have it you know as an equals to so the last condition which you have written here for example if i write here uh any you get to see here any right so that's the reason all the conditions are being satisfied if i write here two you get the small value i hope you got that right now let's go to the next question now next question is 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 a kind of pretty you know tricky now these are the things which i actually you know uh, basically also train my students in my training classes because these exercises actually gives you a lot of lot of uh, you know uh, the flexibility that you get to analyze the things quickly because your mind becomes very sharp right you in, in in your real MIS environment, you really don't have the direct, you know, the food coming to your mouth, right? You have to prepare it, right? Now, how are you going to prepare it? That's all up to your experience and the knowledge, right? So here, let me read out these questions. Now, remember, we are going to prepare one formula only. What is it? If we have two spaces, we should see two spaces. I'm talking about this table, guys. So we have here first name, middle name and the last name so we have the spaces also so if we have got two spaces we should see two spaces if we have more than two spaces we should see many spaces if we have one space uh, we should see single space if we don't have any space we should see no space now this is you know it's a very interesting now we're going to use the find function first of all let us go ahead and find the first space okay so i'm going to write here first space now how are you going to find the first space whether it has a space or not so here I will write the second space and here I'm going to write the third space and here I'm going to write fourth is not required I guess so first space I will simply find like this space I've talked about this find function in the excel playlist text please go ahead and watch that video you will understand it start number has to be one so if the number comes you know that we have a position of the space so I just go ahead and drag it if the error comes that means there is no space and this is what exactly we will target right now now what I'm going to do understand this I'm going to write here is error if the value returns me the error then it means I'm gonna make it zero if the value doesn't return then I'm gonna make it something else I mean on this basis I'm going to use this but right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply write here um, if error this is the if error function it says that the value and the value is error so what if the this function returns the value then no problem reflect the value if this function returns the error then what you want to do then i think we would like to see here as zero this is what i want to do right now what will happen when you drag this you will have the instead of the error the value you get to see here zero now this will help us guys in the you know when we are going to build the formula we will say that if the zero is there in this cell that means there is no space there is no first space right so we can do that now how are you going to find the second space so this is how we will use the space find space the position of the second space in this text starting from now starting from where now we got to actually start from this position four plus one because on the fourth position i have my first space so if i want to go for the second space i have to skip the first space otherwise function will always stop at the first space and gives you the same result so we got to write one more find here which is the inner find i will write here that you got to find again within this text which which should start from the first position and then add one to it so what will happen finally this find function returns four 4 plus 1 will make it 5 and then this find if this goes the start number you know is going to be 5 for this space so it started search from the you know the fifth position fifth position means that it's uh, going to start from p right so p if it is going to start from p the function always moves in the forward direction they never move in the backward direction so it will go to the next find so if i press enter i should see here second space right I have talked about this again as I was telling you you have the videos here just go ahead and watch this introduction to find and search right and uh, then I guess uh, if you just go ahead and uh, yeah you can also watch this video number nine complex advanced find formula find and find I've talked about it 
right so this is the way we are going to find now again if this also gives the error so i'm going to write here if error if this entire function returns the error then i would like to see here zero that's it guys very simple drag this so we will have the two zeros here zero and zero similarly i'm going to use again find to get the third position find space in this text now from where to start i will write again find okay now this uh you know what you can do now in this uh you have to write two finds because when you write here this space like this okay and you go in this text and then you say that i want to start from the first what will happen you will get the same answer right which is four right if you add one to it which means the start number that will make it what four plus one will make it five so we you will start from p so you will have the position six but we don't need the six you know that right we need what we need actually to go to the third space we got to start from the just after the text uh, you know which falls after the second space so actually this entire function which you have written here this function you can copy this not a problem or you can build it you know in a like i was building it but let me just make it make the life simple let's just go ahead and add it so i have entered these all the find functions here so this is going to return you what so we got to add one more to it and there we go now i'm going to drag it and let's see if we have got the value yes we have got the value guys 14 and 11 i think if you come here so four characters here then this is the five then this is the six um six and seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 we have the 14 which is coming perfect right so this is how you see you have used three finds together right so again i'm going to write if the entire function returns the error then what you would like to do then i would like to have a zero i'll tell you the reason for that so drag it and there we go now we are done with all the things now we have to apply our great formula over here all right so now what we're gonna do so let us start if we have two spaces we should see two spaces all right so how are you gonna write if and so if we have the two spaces how it is going to um, indicate obviously if you have here zero okay if you have here zero that means there is no space right and at the same time if you have a zero here which is this then again that means there is no second space so we if we don't have the first and the second space then what we're gonna do we're gonna write here two spaces okay or maybe you can do one thing you can start also from the uh, first from this question if we don't have any uh, let's say if we don't have any space so we can also start from the question number this right so we can write the single if now if we don't have any space means what if the first space if you don't have the first space there is no point that you would have the second space as simple as that right so i'm going to write here if you are equals to zero single if so you write no space all right then we start in the value falls again one more if we will write now if let's say you are not zero then that means there is a space then what we will do then we will see that if we have one space we should see single space so if this value guys is not zero then obviously it means there is a space so i'm going to write here quickly what i'm going to write here uh we should see a single space uh so i can write here um single space that there is a space right and uh but then uh, let us first go ahead and write the you know entire if function so then in the false i will in the false what i will write is um, so, no i don't think so that's that's fine because then you will not have any other parameter i mean after value false what are you going to write nothing right so i believe uh, if you write here no space and then you further go ahead and write the if and now if you if you are not equals to which is like this if you're not equals to or i would write if you are greater than zero which means there is a space and if you are also greater than zero if the both the conditions are satisfied then what we would like to do then we would like to see here two spaces right so i'm going to write here two spaces perfect in the false now what if if you have any challenges here i mean if this is not greater than zero any of the condition is not going to satisfy then what would you like to do then you would like to i think go for the if you have more than two spaces right so you will write again if and i'm gonna write if you're greater than zero if you are also greater than zero 
and then your this value which is d if it is also greater than zero if all the values are greater than zero then that means that we are going to have many spaces okay and if nothing satisfies then in the end we will write here single space now i'm just preparing this question I'm just trying to make it right if it is not gonna work no problem we will check it out right so we have the two spaces here let's have a look uh, well it's correct I'm gonna drag it let us see here also we have two spaces um, yeah it is correct actually here we don't have space so it's coming no space perfect here we have two spaces um, yes and here we have two spaces what here we have actually guys three spaces right one is this one is this and one is this right so this is not working now I'll tell you the reason why it is not working uh, if I take you to the now this is the tool which I always use select the cell go to the formula click on the evaluate formula guys okay uh, this is the cell I want to select right where we have a problem we should see here many space but it's coming to space so I'll tell you this is a very good lesson for all of us now you see what happens when you write the if function the first of all excel executes the first if which you have written on the outer side so this is going to be executed in the b20 what you have in the b20 you have 2 2 is not 2 is equals to 0 of course not right then this 2 i'm talking about right so it is going to be false if it is a false that means there is a space so it, we should not actually see no space so it goes in the false parameter in the false parameter again we have one more f so this is going to be evaluated 2 is greater than 0 yes c20 is greater than 0 yes it is so this is where you have the two conditions getting satisfied so the idea is when you have the two conditions satisfied i mean the overall result of this would be true then the function will stop here on the two spaces because in the two spaces you have written it uh, in the you know true parameter so it will never go in the this if and check out these all three conditions for the multiple spaces so your looping is incorrect ideally what you should have done is you should have checked the first this big if and this one all right so let's go ahead and let's quickly uh, prepare the function again so what i'm going to do first of all we will check for all the three items so the bigger if should be written first so i will say that if you are greater than zero and if you are also greater than zero and if you are also greater than zero okay close the bracket we will write many spaces let me write in the cap small many spaces and if it is not true then then we would go ahead and check out the these two if you are greater than zero if you are also greater than zero which is this okay so if both are greater than zero then we would like to see so third we are eliminating now because the third is already checked d14 is already checked in the first step so here what we will write so here we will write two spaces right two spaces now what if if, if this condition also not satisfies then i think ultimately we have if this value is greater than zero okay if this is greater than the zero then what we would like to write we would like to write single space so now you see the looping pattern this this also needs to be taken care of right indeed that's a very good assignment not because i'm recording it because i'm sharing it but i think it you will like it right because i started from the scratch i have shown you how the error came so uh, if it is a single space that's fine and if it is not i mean if this is not greater than zero then ultimately i think you have the option called no space because we have you have checked all the if conditions so let's go ahead quickly and press enter now we have the two spaces perfect i'm gonna drag it quickly and let's have a look all right so i think we have gotten guys uh, this is the many spaces because we have two five eleven all the values are greater than zero so we have got it so single space is also there two spaces is also there everything is there you can see that right so this is really perfect if i write here j then it should be no space if i write here j space p space s it should be two spaces if i write here let's say i am going to create one more space like this and you see that it has it's actually working right so the sequence is very important guys look at this first we actually identified that how we're going to loop this because your you know the, your interviewer can rotate these questions like i have rotated right so you got to see which if has to put in you know first so first we will take on the big condition where we can 
you know see that if all of you are greater than zero which means that all of you have the three spaces then let's go to the three spaces uh, many spaces if it is failed then let's go ahead and check out for these two if this is also failed then let us go ahead and check out for the first space if this also fails then obviously you have no option but to write no space right so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this and uh, this is how exactly you know you work in these conditions so thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and enjoy excel is actually it's a great fun excel vba is also you know great fun so i will be back guys with some more exciting stuff till then stay happy and have a very very good learning